to be smelling this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so the entire brewery you know, filled up with the quite unfamiliar uh, aroma of American hops. Uh, it went on like that for days, and they dry hopped it, and this stuff went out to the pubs, and it became a really big hit. And in fact, I was surprised years later, I was in, uh, I was in a pub somewhere, and I saw, you know, uh, Brooklyn Best Bitter was like on the, you know, on the, on the, on the hand pumps. And I found out that they had decided to bring it back every spring uh, as a seasonal uh, for about five years in a row. And uh, I, don't think, I think Giles had mentioned that to me once or twice. And uh, I heard from some of his guys that every year when they brewed that beer, he complained bitterly about the smell of the entire brewery, you know, for the week or two that uh, that beer was in residence. So uh, I'm kind of proud of that. Uh, now, at the same time, Giles came and, uh, and, and did a, a beer with us, and that was, uh, and that was called Manchester Star. So the idea that I had was that rather than trying to brew one of the regular race beers, beers we should brew something which really took into account race beers, uh, I mean, rather, uh, rather, uh, even with these beers, uh, took into account their long history. And of course, you know, I come to love J.W. Lee's through J.W. Lee's Harvestdale, uh, which I still have some uh, rather old bottles. Not bad, but I mean, you know, mid 80s. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it, 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 you know, brings it back to a very, a very small story. You know, there's a, there's, here, here's, here's one thing. I want to give you one piece of advice uh, about running a brewery. Um, if you ever do run a brewery uh, and you have a lot of things on your desk that someone needs, do not put your bottle of old barley wine in the center of your desk. Uh, so one day, you know, my uh, one of my one of my brewers who shall remain nameless, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, Phyllis, I mean, I mean, nameless, uh, reached reached across my desk, and it was one of those things that you see later on in slow motion. You know, it was a bottle of 1986 Thomas Hardy's Ale, and I saw it so it's over. It's like, oh no, <laughs> and it fell in slow motion onto the floor. Um, burst all over the place. And uh, that's the shiniest floor has ever been in my office. <laughs> Covered over in a, in a, in a, in a slick of, uh, you know, a 20 year old barley wine. And what, well, no, what, what actually made, what actually makes the whole story so much worse is that for the next two, two weeks or so, the office smelled fantastic. <laughs> every, time I, every time I walked into my office, it, it smelled like, Really beautiful old barley wine, and I, you know, a little, little trickle of tears. <laughs> I would look at Tom, you know, and 